Seconds and once I get into this, Sir, I'll I'll see why and what everybody I'm apologize. I'm here tonight to actually request John Walsh of the FBI's most wanted to make public and request a number one America's number one public enemy. We have a rogue helicopter pilot on the loose inside this airspace. He's also on the loose inside this country. And I am after this report right here, which is a classified document from the Freedom of Information Act within the FAA. When I came down here to speak back in April about the bundling, I went home. I said something because I, had, I could back it up, because I went to the Smith Junior High meeting years ago, and I reminded you of four things I said, which was no smoking, 30,000 seats, put solar hot water panels on it, and put ice in the arena. And I told you why there's no ice in the arena. I made a statement, and the statement was the reason there's no ice in the arena is because somebody had their hand in the pie. He didn't want ice in that arena because he knew down the road, just like the NBA, eventually the NFL and the NHL were going to expand. And if he allowed ice to be put in that arena, that means sometimes down the road he'd have a competing tenant which would lessen his bargaining power at the city of Charlotte. I've been ready to explode like Mount St. Helens since the weekend of May 27th and 28th. And what happened to me was the evening of the 28th, I woke up in my house at late in the evening, early morning is a.m. And my house was shaking. And it was shaking. And I kept shaking. And it shaked for over a minute to two minutes. It shook constantly. And it was the same white helicopter that I saw on Sunday afternoon that flew over my house when I walked from my part of the house to my garage. Sir, exact same. Sir, no, it's, uh, it, it, I am. I'm, I'm, I won't read about the Boy Scouts in the audience, and they may be getting scared because that's of everything. That's fine. They have a right to be scared because that's why I'm here tonight. I was scared. I was endangered, and I was threatened. My life was in danger because we have a helicopter pilot that flew 25 to 30 feet off my roof line between the magnolia tree and the property line for one to two minutes, and then he bailed out. And I followed him, and I tracked him down through the FAA because I made an official report. Sue Myrick knows about this. The FBI knows about this. John Edwards knows about this. This criminal intelligence division, the Charlotte Upper Police Department knows about this. I want this pilot. I want, it's a matter of national security. Wherever you are, Mr. He helicopter Pilot, come out of your hole. And you too, George Jim, because you're in that helicopter, Pop. You're in that helicopter, and you're nothing but a chameleon, lemon-headed, coward, coward pussy. And I'm down to you, buddy. You're going to pay for it. Sure Thank you very much, sir. 